classic mistake in Dragon's Den is for entrepreneurs to overvalue their company, reject an offer of investment and walk away with nothing. Will Gary and Lindsay Shuttleworth from Derbyshire even get that far? They're looking for an investment of £150,000. Hello, my name's Gary Shuttleworth. This is my wife, Lindsay. We're here today representing the Canine 2 Co, who manufacture and supply a revolutionary new pooper scooper called the Canine 2. The Canine 2 is a pooper scooper that utilizes a revolutionary rubber picking device. <laughs> and if you see those fingers, actually mimic the gripping of the fingers of your hand. And what this enables me to do is I can pick up and put down objects without bending down. Now, if I protect the K92 with a plastic bag, I can actually still continue to pick. The bag turns itself inside inside the device, the handles come round to enable me to seal the bag with a knot. The bag comes out clean, the device remains clean. So in summary, it reduces the need to bend and can be used at home, in the garden or on a walk. If used on a walk, all you have to do is clip it to the strap and the cap. The bags can be stored inside the device until a suitable bin becomes available. Thank you very much. Gary and Lindsay are offering a 10% share in their pooper scooper in return for an investment of £150,000. But dog owner Doug Richard is not impressed. Gary, Lindsay, you have set a new record. The single most over-engineered solution to a problem I've ever seen. Now, perhaps it's my failure, but, I mean, I have a dog. I take it for walks. I will never wear that Ghostbusters device to pick up poop for my dog. And bending over, it's not the end of the world. I'm sorry, guys, it's a dog of an idea. I'm out. It's a disastrous start for Gary and Lindsay. Doug Richard is convinced that their high-tech pooper scooper will never catch on and has already declared himself out. Gary and Lindsay will have to fight to keep the rest of the dragons interested. Gary, talk me through the, some prices. The cost price is £22.77. Retail price? Uh, we're pitching at £29.99 for what we call a garden version and £35.99, which is the portable version. Unfortunately, the cost to actually manufacture in the UK prohibits the profit margins that we need to realise. Guys, I've got a little dog and I bought a little thing, a little plastic thing with a bag. It's a contraption, so you put the bag over the thing and you go and you do the same thing, throw it away. And I think it costs a fiver. That's right. Our competition is either a very cheap device or free bags. What price can you produce it elsewhere? Uh, we've had indicative prices from Taiwan at £15 box delivered. From my point of view, 15 quid would have to be the actual retail price, never mind the cost price, giving the retailer his margin, giving you your margin, and because of that, I just can't see an investable opportunity, so I'm out. The high price of Gary and Lindsay's product has cost them the interest of Theopophetus. Other dragons have also been put off. Guys, it's a very expensive product and I, I just can't see it being viable compared to the five pound alternative, so I'm out. You've just so overcomplicated a problem by having this device with all the spikes on it. And there's easier ways of doing it and simpler ways of doing it, cheaper ways of doing it. And um, really, it's just not a business for me, so I'm out.
With four dragons refusing to put any of the £150,000 into Gary and Lindsay's pooper scooper, their situation is grim. Now all their hopes hang on the decision of Peter Jones. I absolutely think the product is brilliant. Thank you. My dog poos all over our damn garden. It drives me mad. So much so that I wait for a friend of mine to come round because he's got a dog at his house and he goes out with a plastic bag and picks up all the, the poo. I can't go near it. I just cannot go near it. This, what a device. I think that it's easy to laugh and smile at an invention like this, but I think this is a really good alternative to bending down and picking up yourself. Peter Jones has amazed the rest of the dragons by showing huge enthusiasm for Gary and Lindsay's product. Can they persuade him to invest the £150,000 they need? What is the best selling product of this type of invention in the marketplace? Because that would be critical to me to be able to evaluate whether this is an investment or not. Can I ask Lindsay to give you some marketing background on, on statistics of the in, dog fouling? In the UK, um, there are 6.7 million dogs uh, spread amongst 5.1 million house owners. 4.3 million people don't pick up after their dog. I'm sorry to, to, to cut you there, Lindsay, but I can't find a way of investing in you without knowing how many of the £5 product that's out there in the market have sold in this country. Um, pedigree produce it. I, I actually don't know the sales that... Um, that item actually. For me to be in, I've got to have that stat. And if I can't have that stat, I can't invest. So, unfortunately, I don't think you can give it to me. So I'm going to cut it short and say, look, great, fantastic. We want more of these things because I think these things, these are innovations. Mm -hmm. I love it. But I'm out. I'm not going to invest if you can't give me the number. Gary and Lindsay have blown it. With the interest from Peter Jones, they were in with a chance. But without the essential knowledge of the market, he wasn't prepared to invest. Well, Gary, Lindsay, Peter liked it. He'll obviously buy one at least. I should I be. Hope he does. <laughs> <laughs> it would solve his problem. But I mean, so you must have been glad when at least when he came in yes. and, and sort of turned it round a bit for you, didn't he? He did try to turn the, the tide round for me, but uh, like I say, it was a shame that the other dragons uh, came out so quickly because I didn't have time to explain fully how much of a global market this actually could be.